A top functionary involved in the Tejas Mark II project has said that after the clearance by the Cabinet Committee on Security last September, the sum for around 10,000 crore rupees was sanctioned from the defence budget, so there has been no crunch of funds, but the issue which has stalled the Tejas Mark II project is 100% transfer of technology of the F-414 engines from the US. The proposal is learned to have been pending before the US Congress, and a US congressman has said that the deal for 100% transfer of engine technology will be signed during the visit of Prime Minister Modi to the White House next month. With the big demand for engines for indigenous fighter jets including the Tejas Mark II, AMCA and Ted BF, the Modi government wants to manufacture these engines locally in India with the creation of indigenous supply chain ecosystem. The upcoming months of June and July are poised to be significant for the US and France, as both nations are set to receive Indian Prime Minister Modi at the state level, as there is anticipation that an announcement may be made regarding the winner of the Indian Navy's fighter jet competition between Boeing and Dassault Aviation. The Rafale Marine holds an edge due to its commonality with the existing Rafale fleet of the Indian Air Force, but the Navy has left the decision up to the government, which is expected to make a well-informed choice based on strategic, diplomatic and geopolitical considerations. The Indian government is facing pressure from the US to select the FA-18, as the US assistance would be critical in helping India develop larger aircraft carriers equipped with an electromagnetic aircraft launch system. Indian Navy's second P-15B guided missile destroyer INS Mormugao conducted the maiden BrahMos supersonic cruise missile firing, demonstrating its firepower at sea. The Defence Ministry had signed a 1,700 crore rupees deal for 35 combat and 3 practice BrahMos extended range supersonic surface-to-surface -surface cruise missiles for the first two P-15B class of stealth guided missile destroyers that will significantly enhance the strike capability of the Navy. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has approved the fourth positive indigenization list of 928 strategically important line replacement units subsystems spares and components, with import substitution value worth 715 crore rupees. The Defence Ministry has banned import of spares and components used in helicopters HTT-40 trainer, light combat helicopter, Su-30 and Jaguar ground strike aircraft and other defence platforms, and these items will only be procured from the Indian industry from December 2024. Indian Navy's MiG-29K fighter jet will soon carry out its mandated flight trial of the DRDO-developed Astra Mark 1 BVR air-to-air missile, after which it will be cleared for operational roles. Hindustan Aeronautics has already begun equipping the MiG-29K fleet with an upgraded Indian-designed mission computer, that has enabled integration of Indian-made weapons like the Astra Mark 1. The No. 3 Base Repair Depot of the Indian Air Force has taken up the project to develop Kevlar safety screens for the Dhruv Mark III helicopter, for the protection of machine gun operators during heli operations in hostile territories. The high tensile strength to weight ratio of Kevlar makes it five times stronger than steel, that makes it an ideal choice for protection. The Indian Army is all set to launch an application on 19 May, which has been designed and developed to provide detailed weather projections for the Army's deployments along the China border. The app has been developed in collaboration with the National Center for Medium Range Weather Forecasting, and will provide meteorological inputs for the commanders in the field, that will help plan and carry out operations effectively. Oh, Mark, drop it.